Hey girl, hey, what's up? So I wanted to talk to you about what does it mean when he says you're intimidating? Oh, hey! Now, we recently got a whole new VP. Oh, yes, a whole new VP. And I'm pretty sure at some point in her career, she may have been called intimidating too. But when it comes to dating, what do you do? If you have ever been called intimidating in your dating life, what I want you to think about is who did it come from? Where did it stem from? And what did you do as a result? Who did it come from? Where did it stem from? And what did you do as a result? One thing I realized in my dating life is that I kept running into the same challenges, but these were with all different people. So if it was all different people, what was the common denominator? Me. Yes, girl, me. <laughs> so what did that mean? I needed to look deep within to say, well, is there some truth to what's happening here? So what I find with many of my clients who have been called intimidating is that when you look at their lives, and I want you to look at your life, what is it filled with? Is it filled with a list of to-dos? Is there not even an inch to breathe? Do you have so many things to do that you're really not happy, right? And do you consume your every waking moment with your drive, with your goals, with the next thing? Are you currently future paced? So not really living in the moment, but always focused on the next thing. So yes, everything is the next thing. So how does that play out on a date? You get on a date and they say, how was your date? And one, a monologue begins where you talk about all the things that's crazy happening at work. Or two, you kind of show off like, hey, this is what I have happening at work and you talk for a while. Or three, you just continue to talk without allowing that person to speak. So sometimes intimidating comes across when we lead with business and we lead with career when this is a date. And a date is different than a job interview. Write that down. A date is different than a job interview. They are not the same thing. So what does that mean? You got to do something different. What do you talk about? Listen, get the love deck. And if you, if you don't have it, you should, right? So these are the 60 questions you should ask before choosing the one. Talk about things that have nothing to do with work. And yes, I know work consumes you. But maybe it's a mo you need to take a moment to say, okay, well, what else do I like to do? And when was the last time I did it? Because all work and no play makes you a dull, dull girl, okay? I'm talking from experience. I'm very driven. I have all the things. And yes, I could very much be intimidating. And sometimes I want to be intimidating. But when it comes to dating, what if you just led with something simple? something simple and let your conversation rotate around the things that really matter in life to you whether it be your faith whether it be your family whether it be your travel plans whatever the the things that that make you light up right and i understand that if you're someone that's cause oriented you might talk about the cause but Let's try to do something fun and flirty for your next date. And I want to hear all about it, okay? So make sure you follow me on Instagram, at InspireMany, and send me a DM. What did you do that was fun and flirty? All right, y'all. Till next time, make sure to subscribe to this channel, tell a friend, and share. I'm Coach Cass, America's go-to love doctor. Bye-bye.